Hello and welcome everybody. This is Atheric777 today back with another little spontaneous video and this year is very spontaneous. You see I have the GoPro in the hand. I have my mobile phone to record the sound more or less because uh, the sound is not that well and the sun is already going down. Um, we had a very hot weekend over here. Uh, more than 40 degrees of Celsius so that's uh, incredible hot and um, yeah, I'm actually here because I want to test uh, the Goliath after I repaired it again, the iFly Goliath frame. And uh, you saw my last video, I had an APM 2.5. Um, I had the first FPV flights, uh, actually five batteries on that day, all worked very well. And then in the last moment I crashed it. Uh, I'm still not sure if I did something wrong because when I watch the video again and again, I see the shadow is going in a very strange way. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like I killed the flight controller, so uh, I had to wait for another APM. And uh, in the meanwhile, uh, just for test reasons, I got a NASA light controller and I installed this one here instead. Um, this one was actually planned for Ismaele, my mate uh, that you saw sometimes on my channel flying because he has uh, some problems to get uh, into flying because he has not so much time so we wanted to have a flight controller that is very easy to handle and I got this one and now that I don't have actually a flight controller left um, but I go very soon on vacation next week to Germany uh, I told okay let's try it and I try this on this copter and then I can get another uh, NASA after the vacation for Ismaele. So um, that's how the copter actually looks like here you see some scratches from the from the crash but all in all um, it worked out very very well and as you can see here we have the battery and that's even not working that well anymore and here in front we have uh, the case for the GoPro you just open it up here and then uh, you connect the cable that goes to the video transmitter um, and that's how it works and back here we have uh, the light uh, the LED indicator. All right, um, I just think we give it a try. Uh, and that's the first try actually. I, I just hope it all will work out. Put the camera here and then we see what it will do. Okay, um, works much better than expected. Uh, I just went straight into GPS hold, as you can see here. And even when it's uh, a little bit windy, you don't you don't see that so much. But uh, not so much windy as we are used from the airfield. But a bit of pressing. Uh, it seemed to be okay. Uh, it's uh, wobbling a lot. I think we have uh, too high values here. But all in all. That seem to work very well. Okay, let's uh, let's try here something. Just push it a bit. Yeah, that's what they always do. You know, that's uh, that's the moment when the the, Graub, the Graubner e prop is uh, is cutting you in the hand. Uh, okay, let's walk a bit around. Uh, the wind exactly comes from this direction, so it just stands there. Slightly against the wind. Now I was a little bit more. That's impressive. And Wayne, you know Wayne uh, from Game Endings, my mate from the UK, always told me the first thing that you will do is you will try to move it around. Then you have it standing, standing it at one uh, at one point, and we are going to try that. crazy yeah no I'm sorry that uh, it's a bit too aggressive now with the APM I had uh, the nice option that I had all these values the telemetry on my portable computer so I just could move it right away to find out the right value here I have to do it a bit different 
but uh, yeah, I think that will not be a big problem. Now we have the wind coming from this direction. Yeah. Now what are you doing, Dolia? Nice. Uh, okay, I don't like it so much to my face, but it's very, very nice. Uh, I think that's already enough for for testing it today. It was just to see if the flight controller works, because um, I wasn't sure after the crash, because in that moment when I turned it on, it was just flying forward. Uh, first, I thought one of the controllers is not okay, because it was just, you know, flipping over. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the ESCs are all okay and uh, what's the flight controller now what I will try I don't know if you can see that I just put a camera here like this and try to fly a bit into one direction just to see how it reacts okay come to daddy Crazy. Ah, that's, that's nice. You know, uh, for me, that's so cool to have uh, to have finally uh, something like altitude hold. Now, even if this is much too aggressive, uh, it's uh, that's so cool. I miss that for uh, camera flying because you know this copter here is not for sportive flying or something. For that, I have my little copter. But uh, this one here is just for filming and, uh, you know, first I thought to switch back to APM when I get the new one to this copter and then to move uh, the DJ controller to Ismaele. But now I think I will just leave it here, I will get another Goliath frame, build the APM on the other frame so I don't have to move it over and, build, uh, and get another DJI NASA for Ismaele. Because that's really impressive. And now we have the people that will say, yeah, the APM can do the same thing. And I'm sure it can. Um, I, it, it didn't work out so easy to make the configuration. Now you didn't saw it in my video, but it was, even the APM was standing near like, near like uh, this one here is standing right now, but I had much more problems to get it into the position. It's a lot of tuning work and all that. This here is really going by itself. Okay, the time is running. Uh, what I will try now, I will go into manual mode, but I don't fly in manual mode, in real manual mode since a lot, so I'll try to go a bit higher. I turn off GPS, now we have just uh, altitude hold, and um, and I go a little bit up, I don't know if you will see that. It's going very nicely up and down. It's crazy. Okay, now I go into manual mode. Ready? Okay. Oh, wow. Crazy. I'm not used to that anymore. It's been too much time. I think. <laughs> okay, I will, I, will, I will go into manual mode when I'm again at the airfield, when I'm sure when I'm sure that uh, I have more space than this year, because that's too crazy. Uh, okay, but it seems like uh, everything is it's working out. There you can see it. I don't know, do I see some... It, 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 it's very, uh, it's, it's very aggressive, but uh, yeah, I have to see for the vibration if, how that will be. But all, all in all, a uh, very good first test. All right, uh, let me land this very fast. Ooh. All right. Um, just let me touch the motors. Hmm, they are strangely much warmer 
than they were on the APM, but it can be even weather. And the ESCs, yeah, the ESCs are all cold. And I'm I'm sad for for the motors because uh, they were all new, you know. But after the first crash, they seem to have some little problems. And I think I will get new one very soon. All right, uh, that was just a little update video. Uh, nothing special, but I hope you like it anyway. And uh, I hope to see you again very soon on my channel. Bye-bye.